Hello, my little ghosties, and welcome to another speed draw. I'm Luna, and in this speed draw, I'm going to be drawing one of my old OCs, Sophia. So a little bit about her. Um, I received her originally as an adopt a long time ago, a few years, not a few, many years ago, and she was originally a Sonic character. I felt she deserved a little bit better than that recently. Um, and I would, I really wanted to continue using her, but since I'm not really in the Sonic fandom as I once was, I decided to transform her into a human. And I felt like it was the right thing to do, um, because I originally already tried redesigning her, and I didn't feel satisfied with her still being a Sonic character. So in this B draw, I'm drawing her more, her humanoid version. So a little bit about her backstory. So she was the daughter of a, rap, a rich, really proud family, and she was an only child, and like her family just loved her. They were really good people, and they always taught Sophia that even though they have all these resources and advantages, that she should always try helping others, and she shouldn't feel like she's better than them. And she did that. She would help share her creations because she was an artist, and she would help other people with resources that she has to spare. To, to those who needed it most um how she died because she's actually a ghost in the and um so we're going to her death where she died um the the day or the night she was mur killed or passed away um her house was being robbed um by three um guys and um she did of course she didn't know this and she heard a lot of noises outside and she went to go check on it, thinking it was her parents. Um, within the group of guys, one of them was a young boy who was really scared. He was new to this, and he was like, he was put to just watch and make sure nobody would see them, or to watch for policemen. And unfortunately, Sophia just walked out of the hall into the living room to see what was going on, and startled the guy the boy with the gun oh he yeah, he had a gun all, all of them had a gun he was yeah and um he shot her two times um because he just got scared that oh there's someone coming i don't know who they are i'm just you know like when, when you're in that flight or fight response um when the gunshot sounded um sophia's parents immediately got out of bed and, and went to see what was going on but by the time they did the three men three guys already w left the house and r fled the scene and Sophia was dead she was shot and she passed away um rather instantaneously but yeah she she, she gone um and Sophia's soul still remains on earth um, because she didn't see who killed her, and she doesn't know why she died, and she had, she was pretty, she was a young teenager, I think I'm, I'm making her 15, 14, and yes, so she passed away not knowing why or who did it, and she can't rest in peace until she does, so she's kind of stuck on, as a ghost, to to find what happened she nobody really told her that's why but like she guessed that like okay i can't go to wherever the souls go after in the afterlife so i might as well try to see who killed me because she was curious she was like why did this happen why did i die and yeah that's pretty much the, what i finished writing in her story um I, I like leaving my stories open ending in case I use those characters to role play with. Um, and yeah, that's the end of her story as far as I've written. Um, this was the first time I've written a script for this and I feel it's very helpful. I hope you f you, it's helpful for you to listen so I'm not rambling as much. And um, I'm using a new program to record my voice so hopefully that's better too. I hope you enjoy the speed draw. And I'll see you in the next video.